Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. As we left off, I was going to see what I could do to pay a visit to Orta in the Chamber of the Assembly. Hello, Orta. I've been hoping you'd return to Orzammar. Oh, I have so much to tell you. The other houses repaid their debts to my house, and I had enough money to send an expedition into our old Taig. Really? We found so many things. I kept some for you. I said I'd repay you, didn't I? I don't need these gifts. Take them. You must. House Orton insists. <laughs> I do love saying that. Walk well, and may fortune always smile on you, Grey Warden. And what is it all that she gives us? Ten sovereigns. I don't need it, but thank you. It's much appreciated. I'll add that to my 2,000 existing ones. And then, actually, do I have... Do I have the right ingredients? Nearer, I'm going to have to go and get theirs. Alright, um... Yeah. So, while well, I'm running around gathering a few different items... News of the hour! Balin is king! Yes, I know! Shut up! Anyway... Why is Morgan leading the party? I just realized that. <laughs> so guys, we've come pretty far from our very humble beginnings. And they weren't really all that humble, all things considered. Charlotte Kuzland. A Terran's daughter. Sadly, of course, her story had to begin in tragedy. But she was eventually rescued by- well, she was rescued by Duncan, and recruited into the Grey Wardens. Ah, oh, what a happy Let's day that started. would have been, had it not been for the impending blight. And of course there was the betrayal at Ostagar. In fact, had Alistair, or Charlotte, or both, Hmm. Had they been down there on the field, they most likely would be dead by now, and the world would be out of Grey Wardens. Well, Ferelden would have been. So by mere chance, they happened to survive. And since then, look how far they've come! Every place they've run into so far has had something that they've had to fix. And they're still in the midst of trying to fix a whole bunch of it anyway. After all, every place they go has something. Whether it's Orzammar with its, Our king died! We need you to make a decision for us! Or the Brazilian Forest, the De La Shells with their... The werewolves have attacked us, we can't help you! Oh, it turns out I'm actually responsible for every problem with the werewolves ever! Redcliffe was a bit more of a classic quest anyway. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help Let you out. Let me see your wares. I'm Shut sure up! I'm sure- Shut up! I don't want to hear it! Not anymore! Alright, I need... I'm gonna grab a few anyway, just in case. Um, I need a flask. And... Was it one of these? I might as well grab a couple, just in case. Oh, and it was elf fruit that I needed. There we go. Right. Yes. Yes. Grabbing all of the same people again. I wonder if we're gonna get attacked magically on our way through back to Orzammar from camp. There's no reason to do that game game. 
game. Thank you. Morgan! There we go. That's what I thought. And uh, we only needed the one. Yay, let's go deliver the anti regicide potion thing. Which needed a life stone, a piece of elf fruit, concentrator or agent, and a flask. So yeah, every place has given them trouble, but they've managed to recruit allies from every one of the treaties. Really, this is more just, at this point, enabling Eamon to be able to join in on the fight with his men. Presuming he survives, of course. And the game's actually pretty foggy on exactly how long it takes you to complete each of these tasks. But it's implied... Use of the hour, supporters of disgraced <laughs> Lord Harriman, It's implied in later games, installments, that it's about a year or so, that the events of the, uh, of, the, of Origins take place over a year or so. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like it happens over the course of a few days, but one... I guess it is, it's pretty safe to assume that it takes a while to travel across Feraldin. So, all things considered, is it in here that we want to go? No, it's not. I am lost! Is it in here? Oh wait, this must... This was his room. Hey, I've got a potion for you. <laughs> As the antidote passes her lips, the patient visibly relaxes. She will live. He gets down on one knee. She'll be up and around in no time, thanks to you. That's good to hear. Very good to hear indeed. For someone who hates Orzammar, I sure am spending a lot of time here. You know what, guys? I am going to meet up with you back in camp. See you in a minute. And welcome back. While we were here, I thought, maybe let's take a chance to get to know Augren a little better. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. Something bothering you? Nah, just tired is all. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more about you. What about? How do you like the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey. Let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. Hey, Bruce, plus two. Just leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. No! Why? Are you upset about something? Upset? <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. Okay. Did you want to talk about something? Well, I'd like to know more about you. What about? Do you miss Orzammar? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? Hey. <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. Let's talk about something else. All right. We'll talk more later. Aye. All right, then. But he does approve. 
<laughs> I have creepy saves. Anyway, I did find something you might be interested in, Algren. I actually have a few things you might be interested in, I think. But, uh, the Alley's King, Alley King's Flagon. Enjoy. Uh, my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift! Shall we have another chat? <laughs> Ass chaps. Enlightening as that is. <laughs> what you need? Can you teach me to fight like you do? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much... What you call it? Finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. <laughs> Tell me more about berserkers. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard <laughs> part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. That's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need True. to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. <laughs> your wife? <laughs> I, especially my wife. Just thinking about it works. Well, for most berserkers it does. Several years ago, I worked with a berserker on one expedition who just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. <laughs> Why would you want to fight that way? Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. Then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. Pretty damn cool. Now let's talk about something else. I'm listening. Uh, actually, I have things to do. Aye, all right then. Oh, he didn't approve for that. Oh well. What you need? Tell me more about Berserkers? What the sod is there? Was there something there? I missed? The hard part is you need to shut that off. For some people, I'm listening. Okay, I'd like to know more about you. What about? What is it like to be a warrior in Orzammar? You get a sword or an axe and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. What do you mean? I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like ah. those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight and when you win and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for. I see what you mean. You toss a nug to a deep stalker, you don't expect it not to eat the thing, right? <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? Actually, let's talk more some other time. All right. We'll talk more later. Aye. All right then. <laughs> Aw. Well, Ogren, you're a good buddy of mine. Liliana, what's up? Something I can help with? Never mind. Just going through the rounds, folks. When? What's on your mind? Never mind. It is no trouble. Now, hmm.
Yeah. <laughs> I do creepy things sometimes. Anyway, I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. And Alistair is glowing, and now he's not. But I will see you next time, where hopefully we'll actually proceed with some sort of plot. Thanks for tuning in, guys.